Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal, Spider-Man. Hello, Cadre. Hello, YouTube. Hello, spice lovers and spice lords out there. Um, we are going to do another hot sauce uh, video for you. I'm here with my lovely assistant, Amber. And uh, what we have is the May uh, subscription box from Heatonist and Hot Ones. Um, so we're going to open this up, see what is in it, and check out the sauces, see how they taste see how hot they are, and uh, see where we go from there. Um, so if you are a fan of Hot Ones, you'll know that the season nine just started today uh, with the Jonas Brothers. We just got done watching that one. And um, so we saw the, the brand new lineup, which was actually the, the lineup was announced a few weeks back um, to introduce the new sauces for season nine. Uh, but the first episode was just on, so that was the first time we've ever seen anybody eat those sauces, have reactions to them. Um, I'm hoping that um, they've started giving us these sauces from season nine in this box. So we're gonna open it up and see. board that uh, lists what they are uh, and they are the sauces from the not season nine um, so of course we've got our heatonist uh, sticker as always and we've got our fan art sticker and this says if you don't like hot sauce you're stupid I like it and of course uh, it is misspelled your Instead of you are stupid, it's you're stupid. So that's kind of a, a double joke there. Anyways, we have got... Um, so these are not... Let's see what we got. Sweet. Okay. So we've got Shaquanda's hot pepper sauce. This one is number three in the lineup and is 10,100 on the Scoville scale. Oh, are you gonna model these on? I can. Uh, the next one we've got is Lucky Dog Year of the Dog. This one is number four on the scale, and it comes in at 29,800 Scovilles. And the next one is <sighs> Pucker Butts Chocolate Plague. Coming in at number nine. So this one is right behind the last dab. So that one's gonna be hot. How hot? 690,000 on the Scoville scale. Um, so they really cranked it up this season. Wait, that one's 10,000? Yeah. <laughs> so it's 690? Right. Holy <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Uh, the realization has hit. Um, so, uh, the previous season, season eight's sauces, um, obviously the last dab is the last dab, and that's always the end, and that one is two million. Um, but the number nine last season, uh, which I think was Fear This, um, was like 550,000 on the Scovilles. So mm -hmm. this one for the number nine position is even hotter. So we are gonna try these in order. So we're gonna start with Shaquanda's pepper sauce. Now, a uh, fun fact about this sauce, because uh, I just re-watched um, Sean's video where he introduced these sauces um, earlier today, and so I remember this from what he said, is that uh, the maker of this sauce, uh, Shaquanda, is his drag alter ego. Um, and so her <laughs> picture is on the front Cute. of the bottle. Uh, so we are gonna open this up. All right, so first of all, let's check out the ingredients. Onions, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, chili peppers, tomato paste, uh, sugar, lemon juice, sea salt, ginger juice, horseradish, mustard powder, turmeric. 
So interesting that the first ingredient is onions. Um, so it's gonna have a little bit of a different texture and definitely a different taste. You can definitely smell the onion. Mm. It's like a, like a, almost a caramelized onion sort of flavor to it. This is pretty thick. So again, this one is 10,000, uh, so generally speaking, relatively mild. Mm. That one did bite, like right at the very beginning. It yeah. was a really sharp, hot bite. And actually, like that was the first thing I tasted was just the heat. Um, so uh, initially, hotter than I expected just because it it punched right with some heat right at the beginning before I tasted anything. Um, but then I started to taste the onion. Mm -hmm. um, Very sweet. Yeah. Like a nice sweet onion. And then I, I think I'm tasting the, the turmeric. Yeah. Is, what, right is what's coming out, especially in like the aftertaste of it. Um, but it died down really quick. Um, the, the heat in that one really didn't last very long. Uh, so that one is Shaquanda's, and that is number three. Moving to number four is Lucky Dog, Year of the Dog. It is Thai Chili Pineapple Hot Sauce. Ooh. Ingredients, pineapple, first ingredient. So this one should be uh, sweet. Um, where do we go? Rice vinegar, onion, roasted garlic, honey, dried red chilies, toasted onion, sea salt, agave, lime juice, ginger, dried garlic, mustard flour, and toasted sesame seeds. So I'm hearing a lot of very sweet things. Um, this one is three times hotter than the previous one, coming in at 29,800 mm -hmm. on Scovilles, but when you're that low, it, there really isn't too much of a difference. It smells mm. more peppery. This one is thinner, so try to not get quite so much. All right. So that one, the heat doesn't hit you at the beginning at all. I almost tasted the onion first, mm -hmm. and then I tasted the pineapple. Yeah, pineapple is. And then once I started tasting the pineapple, that's when the heat started to slowly kick in. So this one is a much more gradual burn, um, whereas the previous one punched hard at the beginning and then died off real quick. This is a slow ramp um, up for the heat scale. Uh, Do you notice anything different? In that one, or pretty much that's what you're yeah. tasting too. The pineapple, once you actually taste the pineapple, you taste the heat. Mm -hmm. That's when it starts coming in. But nice and gradual. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't get too hot, but it, it is just a, a, a gradual ramp up until it, it peaks off. Um, and it, it stayed peaking. I mean, it's still, it's still burning my tongue a little bit. The, but no, the first one almost seems spicier. Because it was right off the bat, you taste Just because it was right off the bat, it yeah. like hit you really hard but then it died off real quick. And I think this one, since it was a slow, gradual rise. It's lasting longer. It, it's yeah. lasting longer. And I don't, I think because it's doing that, you're not seeing, um, I don't know, maybe the, the other one just punched so hard at the beginning. Right. And with, as this one ramped up, maybe you just don't think that it is going hotter because it's so slow. I, I, I don't know what else to say about that yeah. one. Um, but but, but really, I mean, as far as, Along the heat scale, one is 10,000, one is 30,000. Honestly, there's not really much of a difference between those two in heat scales. Um, they're, it's still pretty close together. So uh, again, it, it's a little, it's supposed to be a little bit hotter, but um, yeah. now we got this one. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, so this is Chocolate Plague. And this is by uh, Puckerbutt. Um, so 
the guy who makes the pucker butt sauces is Ed Curry. And he is the guy who holds the records for the hottest peppers in the world. Goody. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited for this sauce. It's gonna suck. Um, so the, oh, I, I'm pretty sure he was the guy that made the um, Carolina Reaper. Um, he's the one who's made Pepper X, which is out there and the hasn't been verified as being the hottest pepper yet, but it is supposedly hotter than the Carolina Reaper. Um, and supposedly through interviews and a little bit of speculation, he's just this mad scientist and he's working on other pepper varieties out there. Um, and he's got them in reserve. He's holding them in his back pocket, waiting for somebody <laughs> else to make a pepper hotter than so his pepper, so he can just drop it and retake the throne. So this guy knows what he's doing uh, with these peppers. This one is gonna be painful. This is a huge, huge leap from where we were just at between 30,000 and 690. This is 200 times. 690,000. 200 times hotter. Quick maths. We got chocolate bootla peppers. So pepper, and then the next ingredient is pepper or vinegar. <laughs> There's three ingredients in here. Okay. So it's the okay. chocolate pepper first. So, so the chocolate bootla pepper mash, which is chocolate bootla peppers and vinegar. Okay. So you take, if you're gonna make a mash, you take your peppers, you grind them up, and then you add just a little bit of vinegar until it becomes basically a slurry, a, a slurry or like a thin paste. That's what mash is. Um, then it has vinegar. <laughs> and, so they mixed the, the mash in with, with more, more vinegar, vinegar to, to water it down so that you can pour it. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then pepper powder. <laughs> That's the last ingredient. And then they so dry the peppers this, and make it into a powder. This <laughs> is, uh, so let's see, brought to you by Pucker Butt Pepper and Stephen McLaurin, grower, harvester, producer of all natural pepper, uh, home of the world's hottest pepper. So I thought it was going to say what else was in there. No, it's just pepper and solo. They just mash up enough peppers to make it pourable is this right now. Yeah, well, so yeah. And then they added just another, uh, just some more pepper powder just for the hell of it. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. You're sweating already. I know! <laughs> it's gonna be bad. <laughs> I love that smell though. Mm. <laughs> what does that remind me of? Well, it, anything that we've had that has the uh, like Hard. ghost ghost peppers, the scorpions, the reapers, yeah. they all have this similar smell well, it's to them. It's almost like a sweet smell at first, but it's. Hot. But you can. I mean, you got to get right in there <laughs> to like smell <laughs> the heat. Like I just kind of, if I'm back here, I just kind of smell like some some peppery smell and I can tell there's some a little bit of heat to it but if you get right in there and take a drag you can really smell that that is gonna be hot yeah you can like taste it in the back of your throat when you really is that enough oh, pussy come on if I'm doing this I'm doing it well so you want more than that how much are you doing well I'll do whatever you do how much do you want more when in Rome. That's good. I think that you gave me way more than you. Oh, no. Mine's chunky. Look at that. <laughs> so, that's about what we're sampling right there. That one doesn't really taste very good. <clears throat> it almost tasted, <coughs> almost tasted tomato-y. At the very beginning. I don't know. Compared to other sauces, um, 
Whew, excuse me. Compared to other sauces, this one is not as flavorful. This not one doesn't taste as, as good as some of the other ones. Um, it's definitely hot. Um, the heat, there wasn't much ramp. It, 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 it paused for like a second or two and then it just like kicked in. Um, as far as the heat goes and the, the hot flavor, I'd say it's on par with the other sauces. Um, but there's nothing else other than heat. It's but that's, just made yeah. the heat. It, that's the thing. There's there's nothing else in there. There's no garlic. There's no salt. There's there's nothing else to really give it any other flavor um, that usually the other sauces do. This one is just heat. Wow. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of a different flavor because it's the chocolate bootla as opposed to uh, like a scorpion or a reaper, but... I think I actually like the taste of the scorpions and the reapers better than the, the chocolate bootla, mm -hmm. which I've never, I've never tried a chocolate bootla pepper by itself. Um, but I, I don't know, something about it just, to me, just tasted tomatoey. It was, that was like my initial impression. Well, it just tastes like mash, like the pepper mash. So if you well, did any that's all that's in there is mash. Well, I know, but it's not tomato. I don't want to call it tomatoey. No, that's just like the impression that I got of but the flavor, like, just because, I think because it was so bland. Yeah. No, I know. Like, because there's no the, spices, there's no seasoning, and because of the no the blandness person. of it is, I think, I what made me think of tomato. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's hotter than some of the other sauces that we've had before. Like No, because it's starting to die down for me. I mean, it's definitely there. It's definitely tingling my tongue. It's definitely burning. Um, but, but no, it's, it's not, not unbearable exactly. for being 6'9". Like, it's not unbearable at all. And I almost want to say that the last season's nine, which I think was the fear this, um, was was hotter, or it just seemed hotter from my memory at least. I don't know. Um, you want another spoon? No, you do it. Full spoon, come on. Full spoon. Damn. I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll do about double. Double what I did. Oops, I'm dripping. Skeet, skeet. Ah. Mm. I'm trying to. <clears throat> I'm trying to feel if it's even gonna ramp up even hotter than it was before. No, my tongue is starting to hurt. Ah. Um, no, I figured putting putting more on and leaving it on my tongue like that, it was gonna uh, get a little hotter, which I guess right now it is. Like it, it just kicked in right now. So that was a good minute delay before it started to get hotter. Um, but I, I don't know. I think maybe on the second taste, it was maybe a maybe a little bit more flavorful. Um, but that's it. That's the sauces for uh, the uh, season nine. So we've got number three, Shaquanda's. We've got number four, Lucky Dog. And we got number nine, the Chocolate Bootla, or Chocolate Plague uh, with the Chocolate Bootla. So um, we did do this one uh, a little bit late. Um, I got the box about a week and a half ago, um, but we kind of held on to it for just the right time. And today happened to be the first episode of the new season, so what perfect timing to do that. Um, so looking forward to the next box, which will probably get here in about two weeks or so. Uh, they're usually shipped right around the middle of the month. Um, so, I could do a little bit of um, theorizing that what we're going to get next time is going to be number two, Sauce Bay. Um, number bay. six, uh, number six, Hellfire Detroit Habanero. And number seven, Wiltshire Chili Farm Trinidad Scorpion, which is made in England. Um, so, so aside from Da Bomb, which doesn't come in the boxes um, because that's not one of Heatonous sauces. Uh, so that's number eight on the list. But they keep it in there because uh, it's 
a fan favorite and it's one that all the contestants always hate because it's actually one of the worst ones heat wise when we tried it you liked it like you <laughs> i forgot <laughs> Well, you said it had good flavor. That was one of the first ones that I gave you that was really hot, and you said it had a really good flavor. Oh, because yes, and, I but, can do the hot usually. But I always, I, I commented, or everybody else, all the contestants who were on the show, um, they always say that it tastes horrible. Like all they taste is heat, and they didn't yeah. taste any flavor. But we actually thought that that one tasted pretty good. Okay. It's probably been a while since you've tried it. Um, so aside from the bomb. Uh, there's nine sauces left. Uh, we got three here. Three of them are the hot one sauces. The classic, the Los Calientes, and the Last Dab. So that leaves three other sauces. So that's probably what we are going to see next month. So looking forward to trying those sauces. And um, once we get the full set, we can kind of do a hot ones um, wing interview challenge. wing challenge. Um, so once we get everything, for this season, we'll be uh, doing one of those and looking forward to that. So um, thanks for tuning in. And if you've got any questions, throw them in the comments um, for either me or Amber. And we will address those. And if there's anything you'd like to see on our channel, anything you'd like to have uh, me or possibly both of us test or, or try. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know. Uh, so thanks for tuning in if you're watching this, um, and we will see you guys later. 